شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليسم ومن كان مريضا أو على سفر فإدة من أيام أخر يريد الله بكم اليسر ولا يريد بكم الأسر ولتكمل العدة ولتكمل العدة ولتكبر الله على ما هداكم ولعلكم تشكرون الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه وبعده أهوى مسجمة بركة مودا يوم الجمعة السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته عليكم السلام أولنا مصلاة شدك أنبوان أسير وطري na barno tarai abuja nigeria da muke gabatar tafsir na ramadan muna cikin sautu safat za mu tashi a kan ayat 164 wa minna illa lahu maqamun ma'lum to dan yadda mu shirkan maka suka danganta yaya mata ga Allah tabarak wa ta'ala wa iyyazu billah kuma wannan tuhuma ta mu na kwarai nau'i ne na shirka Allah ta'ala ya kore wannan ya musu rabbi Allah ta'ala shi kada yake ba da mukin tarayya tare da shi bai da ɗaya bai da ya bai da mata shi shi kada yake dukkan abin da ya halitta muna dogaro ne akan Allah tabarak wa ta'ala Allah bai bukatar ɗa ba bukatar mutum to yau mun zo gaban mala'iku wadasu ake tuhuma da cewa su ne ayyin Allah ko suma anan Allah ta'ala ba mu labarin su daga ciki wannan aya o ma minna illa wa lahu maqamun ma'lum wannan mala'iku suke fadin wannan da kansu suka ce babu wani a cikin mu ba ce yana da matsayi babba kuma sanannen matsayi da kuma aiki wanda aka dora mushi Ima ana suba ya Allah bane suba ya Allah ne wadda Allah ya zaba ya fifita su ya sanya su masu biyayya ba sa sako ba maza bane ba mata bane ba sa ci ba sa sha ba sa bacci ba su da sha'awa ba sa sa'awa ma Allah tabarak wa ta'ala duk abin da umurce su suna aikatawa take suna da wato ayyuka daban-daban da aka dora su akai akwai wanda yake mawo tsaron muta masu kula da aljini a janna wanda aikin su saukar da ruwa kuma masu daukar rai kuma duk wanda ka sani wani aiki Allah tabarak wa ta'ala ya dora su akai wasu wala ka su ba ba ya yan Allah bane suna da matsayi babba suna da ayyuka daban-daban wanda suke ko ba za sa wannan na we read yesterday how Allah's most high refuted attribution of a child to him by the kuffar of maka that Allah does not have a wife a child and everyone existing the one we can see and those we cannot see Uh, but slaves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so even the angels who were who were attributed to be the children female children of Allah by the mushrikun now they are those speaking clearing and exonerating themselves from what the kuffar attributed them to as children of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
they said wama minna illa lahu maqamu ma'lu there is not any among us except that he has maqamu ma'lu a position that is clearly known an assignment given to him that is clearly known schedule of duties they said that everyone of them has a schedule that Allah the Most High assigned to him and it is known to that angel and it is what that angel is discharging towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without any act of disobedience by this their statement they have refuted that they were not sons they were not daughters of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the mushrikun claimed rather they were servants of Allah the Most High and they are discharging the duties assigned to them by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they are neither men nor female they, no, they neither eat nor drink they don't take rest they don't go to eat themselves they are just created naturally to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's what they are doing so uh, for someone to come and say they are children of Allah the Most High that claim is a baseless claim rather la ya'asun Allah ma amarahum whatever Allah the Most High command them is what they do and they do not go contrary to the command of Allah the Most High some of the angels were created purposely and given an assignment of uh, doing tasbih glorifying Allah the Most High some in charge of rain some in charge of uh, uh, taking the souls of human beings those who say uh, time has come and so many other duties so this is what they are saying now they are not children of Allah Raza they have maqam alum non-position that peculiar particular assignments assigned to them by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that what they do discharge wa inna laha wa inna lana hnu safun barakat Allah ishin wa inna lana lana hnu safun wa da ki sa mu akan wato a gidan sa mu sa sa mu sa mu bala ikusi kuma sun ce ko ina a sammai bisa wannan Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala da suke a wata kamar da ya gabata cewa ba sa sabo Allah su ko malaika ya yi sabo zai iya ba ba ma zai yi ba shi ko dan adam ko da yayin da zai sabo ba sai yayi da jinnu sai aka bude mai kofar tuba shi sa mu mutane yadda Allah ya wumu daban da yadda Allah ya wusu ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu ku anfusakum wa ahlikum nara aqudu hannas wal hijara alayha malaikatun wa ghilazun shidadun la ya'suna Allah ma amaruhu wa yaf'aluna ma yumaru daga cikin ayyukan su su la tabda mutane dan muta Allah ta'ala ce ya kuma su imani ku kudar da kawuna ku tsiran da kawuna da iyalan daga wuta wanda akan wannan wannan wutan makamashin ta mutane ne ga wato duwar wasu akwai mala'iku ke ba ba akai manya manya wa idda su ba sa saba mu wannan Allah da an ce su kamo mutun to an gama da an ce su jefa shi an gama ku zo wa bullu ku kamo shi ku jefa shi su ba su da tausayi inda ka san wannan ginshi inda masallaci a zuwa san ana tafsirin nan ba an ja aya bi sani an basara bi sani an kira sallah bi sani an yi sauma bi sani to su haka suke su ba ruwan su musan ku abin da Allah ya kawo ta Allah kawai ce shi za su saka in aka ce su zuba mutane a wuta ka an gama kowa da abin da aka ba shi na yake ce su amma abin da ya hada su gaba da shine ba sa samu ba malaika mai samu ba zai ma iya ba shugaban su jibril alayhi salatu wassalam shi ke kawo wahayi wa annabawa shi sa shi kawo wahayi alqur'ani da annabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam kuma 
suna da girman gaske da malaika dai ne su ga duniya a suran halittan sa duniya ba za ta yake shi shi sa da Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam ya ga Jibril alayhi salatu wasalam a ganin sa na farko buka bukin sa duk sun cika duniya gaba da koyi bi taba ganin halitta ka ba shi sa dan adam rigin ma kawai ke Allah ya bar shi malaika dai ya yi shi duniya tal wasma ciya suka yi dukkan duniya kamar a tafin hannun malaika da yake aka ce kifar da mu kawai shi kenan a cikin minti daya mu shi sa suna da ayyuka daban-daban daga cikin ayyukan su salati ga annabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam inna allaha wa malaikatahu yusalluna 'alan nabi ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu 'alayhi wa sallimu taslima allaha yana salati ga annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam malaiku su ma suna nan suna ta salati ga manzon allah wannan suna son musalla wannan suna tasbihi wannan suna sallah inda muke to da inda ibada allah yake so to da ibada malaiku ya ishe shi wannan ibada da muke muna yau kawo namu ne kawai abin da kai za ka je ka riska da duk duniya za ka wutar allah duk dan adam zai ce ba zai wutar allah ba da ba murgi allah da kuma ba saboda malaiku ma da suke yi masu kare shi da wani abu idan da za mu zama to ga baki daya mu waliyan Allah ne muna wuta Allah ba mu sabo da mu kare Allah da kawai ba da kuma za mu ki ba wurgi Allah da kawai ba haka ayyuka mu ne muna yin kawo da da ibadan yake so da na malaiku ma ya ishe shi saboda su ba sa zuwa kasuwa ba su zuwa office ba sa talle ba mu babban riga ba mu dan lafiya ba mu jeans ba mu kowa dukkan su kawai ibada ba cha cha ta Allah shiga ta wala ba yi sai Allah ramma ya bi ni nan ni wanda saka ba ni ga ba da za a ce to su ba ba su ba ta kawai na Allah ta mu kuma dama a ya mutsi abun yake wasu mu shirkai ne tangaran wasu ma san Allah ba wasu muna fakai ne wasu mu mai ne wasu mu sulmai ne nas kowa da irin sa Allah dai yana jiran kowa ya tau Allah ya samu jiran sa as they said that they have various assignments they are discharging to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they are not uh, daughters of Allah but they have assignments given to them part of their assignment is that wa inna la nahnu safun they said and we are those who form rows in worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so part of the assignment given to them by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through forming rows the same type of similar rows we form when we are observing our salat so these angels even if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in need of his slaves to worship him they amount of worship being dedicated to him by the angels is enough for him because they don't disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unlike us human being may decide to obey Allah today tomorrow he may decide to go against the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so Allah in his infinite mercy because he want to cover us with his mercy he open doors of repentance to us as you commit sin you repent to Allah the most high if the repentance is sincere Allah will accept it and he will forgive you so but this category of Allah servants la ya'suna Allah ma amarahum they do not disobey Allah on whatever he commands them wa yaf'aluna ma yu'marun it is only what Allah the most high command them that they carry out part of their assignment is that they make sure that the inmates of hellfire are severely punished because Allah says alaiha malaikatun one of their assignment is that there are those stationed on the fire taking care of those in the hell fire to make sure that they are severely dealt with la yasuna allah ma amara you can bribe them you can they do not sleep let alone you say okay you run away when any of the angels sleep giladun shidadun they are hefty indeed they are so huge and shidadun they are uncompromising 
they do not they are not merciful you cannot beg them for Allah's sake for because of Allah because of Allah it is Allah who asked them so is it the work of Allah they are doing so you can't tell them don't Allah as it is what Allah command them that they are doing so one of their duties or duties of some of them is that they take care of dealing with those who are unbelievers in the hellfire another important duty they are discharging is sending salat to the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Allah the Most High says in Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi certainly Allah the Most High and his angels do send salat in favor of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam therefore you who have believed you should also do the same by sending salat to the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so these creatures are so huge if an angel is going to descend to this world in his natural creation he wouldn't have place the whole world cannot accommodate him because we learn that when the prophet sallallahu received the first his first revelation he saw jibril alayhi salatu wasalam in his shape his wings filled the horizon totally nothing one could see except the wings of jibril alayhi salatu wasalam so how should human being now continue making trouble saying that allah has daughters has this how that only that allah the most high is sparing us to the day when he will take our lives and then give everyone recompense according to his or her deeds so these creatures of allah are fully obedient to him they do not obey disobey him and part of their assignment in we are those who make rose in worship to allah the most high to Allah tabarak wa ta'ala ya ambata mana malaiku da kuma wato ainihin ayyukan su ayyukan da suke daban-daban na bautan Allah wadda duk abin da Allah ta'ala ya buce su ba sa sa ba ma'ana mun kuma yan adam ga beyya ga samu banda annabawa duk wanda adam da ka sani bai sabo ne illa kawai daraja daraja wasu kanana wasu kabairai wasu ma kabairai shirka kamar yadda wayannan mushinkan nan maka suke danganta ayya mata ga Allah tabarak wa ta'ala to cikin ayyukan mala'iku bayan sun fadi suna sau san wajen ibada an masu kace wa inna la nahnu al musabbihun mu ne wa yadda Allah ta'ala yake samu tasbihi muna tsarki Allah tabarak wa ta'ala su ba su yadda hada Allah ta'ala da walwa sa'an nan ba sa ko da wasa tunanin masu hada Allah ta'ala da walwa suna tsarki Allah suna yin tasbihi na tsarki Allah tabarak wa ta'ala to kaga tasbihi yana da muhimmanci farai saboda akwai musamman malaiku wadda su aikin su kenan bal kaman ka ce dukkanin su suna tsarki Allah tabarak wa ta'ala kuma su har tu ne wanda yake suna da yawan gaske da yawan gaske wannan ke nuna maka girman Allah tabarak wa ta'ala idan aka ce malaika da zai cika dukkan sammai da mutun sa ya ganin ka ko malaiku ashe ko wannan su duniya duniya ne guda saboda girman sa to in ko suka kai miliyoyi ta kenan akwai duniya 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 wadannan adam ma bai san da shi na malaiku illa su Allah ta'ala ya musu baiwa na suna iya canza yanayin halittun su kamar da jibril alayhi salatu wasalam wata rana yazo wajen annabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam asura nan adam asura nan adam ya shigo ya samu sahabai na rasulullah sai san suna zaune shi ma ya shigo ya zo ya zauna aka ce ya mako kusa da mazan sallallahu alaihi wasallam ya dora hallayen sa akan wato ainihin biyoyin annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam ya mai tambayoyi daga ciki ya tambaye shi ce menene musulunci 
اخبرني عن الاسلام انس نيباش انسر اخبرني عن الايمان انس نيباش انسر اخبرني عن الميسان انس نيباش انسر صار لي تنبي ساعة سيور القيامة مبم مغرى يتشي ود اكا تنبين لفيون دي تنبين سنيما تو شيدا شيني ياشبو اسد امتن قد لكاين سفرا لتس با علامة تبيع تردشي با علامة وحالة تردشي كومان سطب 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 ساكي سوطي يدين قفتا سطب زوتيا مبتن شان تشي تكونا dan kar mutum ya tsafsa ko a waje shan din matsala kaga tsabbata ba'i tsafsa a can ciki tuku ba shirka ba munafurci ba gawa ba kiyayya ba hasada duka tsab kenan sa'an nan mutum ya ga dama ya sa gwardi ga daula ya fito tsafsa na ko isa jin lafiya to kaga kenan suna shiga irin na mutane har gashi jibril shugaban su ma gaba daya shi ma irin wannan shiga lokacin da aka yi yaki in badar an ce malaiku sun sauko kuma ya in gadda sun taimaka wajen yaki wasu ma aka ci da rawunan su rawani a kawunan su sai ga mutum sahabi ya bi sahabi ya bi kafiri bai sare shi sai kansa kawai ya bada kasa kula kare yaki aka go ana bawo annabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam labari yace ai wa ancanin ka malaiku ne allah ya tuno shi mu qur'an ya tabbata ta haka cewa allah yana isa da malaiku su taimaka wa bayin sa saka suna shiga irin shigan mutane sai su dawo kamar siffar mutane amma siffofin su manya ne kirba kirba wani manya to suna tasbihi allah ya sanya muslima su yi tasbihi Another assignment that Allah the Most High created angels for is doing tasbih, exalting the name and glorifying the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So they have been created for that. That's the only thing they do. They do not eat, they do not drink, and they do not disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore, tasbih, saying of subhanallah and the likes, are part of what a Muslim is expected to be doing in the name of glorifying the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And these creatures, meaning the, jinn, uh, the angels, are so many indeed, which no one knows their number except Allah the Most High. Therefore, if Allah the Most High uh, is in need, even if he is in need, though he is not even in need of our worship or that of the angels, so the one being dedicated to him by the angels, are enough for him so Allah the Most High created them in different shapes and they can change from one shape to another just as uh, Jibril alayhi salatu wasalam came when the Prophet sallallahu was in his uh, palace uh, was, was sitting together with his companions he asked him of some questions and uh, those questions were so relevant to the Muslims because he taught Muslims so many things. So Jibril was seen by all the, the, the companions who were there. They saw him in a very, a very handsome, good-looking uh, Arab. He came and sat down and asked some questions to the Prophet of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Allah the Most High is so great for creating what we see and what we cannot see the walls that we cannot we do not imagine except him who knows what he has created suna bayane ne akan tantance aqida ya zaman to tataccen aqida mai tsafta ko wani abu da ake mana bayani suna sa aqida mutun ya tato ya zaman to mai tsafta ba gurbata a cikin sa to sai Allah ta'ala dauko ya koma mana kan wa'annan mushakkar 
da bayanan su Allah ta'ala ce wa in kanu lai kulu ko da dai sun kasance suna cewa su shirkan maka kafaran maka ne suke fadi law an andana dhikran min al awwalin to kaji su kaman da gaske kuma kariya suke Allah ta baraka wata ala ce a binda suke cewa law anna indana dhikra da dai a ce muna da wani abu an bato wato muna da wani littafi wanda muke komawa kai mu karanta kamar yadda aka sauka da littafai ga al'umumi min al'awwali da wanda suka wace ni kafaran makka suna sani cewa an sauka da linjira an sauka da taura wayan bani isra'il suna nan a kewaye da su su jodan din nan har baitul maqdis jerusalem ne yanzu duka makwabtan su ne suna ma'amala tare saboda haka sun san yahudawa sarai da kuma ma nasara wasu ma garuruwan su akwai nasara a zaune da su akwai yahudawa a tare da su to su larabawa da yake su ba su da litafi sufan annabi ishaqa su ne aka danga bawa litafi aka danga bawa litafi sufan annabi ismail alayhi salatu wasalam babu wani annabi bawa litafi sai suka danga cewa da dai za a ba mu litafi za a aiko mana da manzo to da ba haka ba lakunna ibadallahi almukhlasin kada ki ayi ajiru suke da ma'anuri iri da suka ce da mun kasance bayin Allah na gari masu wato tauhidi masu tsarkake ibada ga Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala Allah ta'ala ce suka ce lakunna ibadallahi almukhlasin da mun zaman to bayin Allah wato bayin Allah na gari masu tsarkake ibada masu tsarkake wato aini dukkan ayyuka zuwa ga Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala da ba a same mu cikin masu yin buguma ka ba ta ga wannan su suka fada da kansu a lokacin ba a turo musu mu ba suke yin wannan mangan cewa da mu ka ba da an mana ka ba da an mana ka ba to kariya suke to mun zamu zo mu ji cikin cikin bayani ga bayan da muka ji can baya a wasa wurare daban-daban alqur'ani mai girma cewa da annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam ya zo musu dan su ne sun san shi sun san labarin sa sun rayuwar sa ba a taba yin ba a taba yin wani balarabe wanda aka aminta da shi kamar anne muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam a umur qura wato uwar alqayyum ta ce makka ita ce kamar babban birin tarayyar su suna ji da makka saboda kama shi sa ma guma kan su manya manya guma kan wanda suke da fadi a ji a cikin guma kan duk suna ne an aje su ne a kama duk wani gunki da bai samu shiga wannan wajen bai kai gunki ba shi sa suke zuwa su haji su suna tawafi a nan kawo a tsarara har da mata har ma matan masu kunya su ce musu yafi wanda wanda ya wanda ya tawafi ya leka wannan ba su yafi ba to ba za ku su yafi ba kin wa kin zo kin barkan ki cikin cikin haramu to saboda haka su abin da suke jira a turo ni tami a turo ni amma da aka turo ma sai suka ce a now a different subject matter uh, the issue of discussing about the angels and their assignment the various assignments they are serving uh, has stopped from verse 166 now the subject matter discusses about the claim and the promise of the kuffar of makkah who made a promise they were lamenting that had it been yeah uh, and they used to say that that was before the prophet was sent to them because there was no scripture sent to the kofar of mecca but scriptures were sent to the jews and the christians so they were saying law anna indana dhikra min al awalin if we had a reminder or a scripture just like the scripture given to the generation the former generations then lakunna ibadallahi almukhlasin 
we would have been sincere servants of Allah the Most High. So the reason why they disbelieved was that because there was no scripture sent to them in order to guide them. This was what they were saying while they were telling lies. Because when the Prophet came to them with the scripture, they rejected and they belied the Prophet This were the kuffar. They knew the Prophet clearly, his relationship with them, his character, his attitude, being the trustworthy uh, personality among them. But still, this promise they made before the coming of the scripture that law anna indana dhikra min al awalin had it been we have a scripture like that of the former generations lakunna ibadallah al mukhlasin we would have been among the chosen servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but they contradicted themselves when the Prophet came. Fakafaru bihi fasofa ya'lamun Kashima Allah tabarak wa ta'ala Then the Antura Muslim was already telling me She can that's who that's a bitch See God Allah Ta'ala to us and name Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Kuma wa Larabi I thought when she and Nabi Ismail Alayhi Salaam wa Salaam What the kid asali sanan me Our Jansu Kuma she and Nabi Muhammad Sallam Dara gida wa ban gida sanan me Nabi Musa kuwa agaresu sanan me Bal susa kat nana awa yusuna ala amin Sunan tak kebas, kita sini Muhammad Sosalam kuai sahaja macam tu. Amma semua dah biru. Nak karam sih, dah biru nak mungkin sih, dah biru nasi ni ya kemaja. Saya akan dengan kecik masya Allah amin. Saya tak jodoh amak ke insya Allah amin. Anak yang firasulullah. Salam salam. Watarana suka sama sama ni. Wajang kita kaaba, dengan kaaba. Allah Ta'ala ya sanyi wa nan aiki zantu Kwa kun aiki na aka aji abang kasa Na muta Allah Inna awala wajin Wudhi alin nasi Laladhi bakata mubaraka Mubudan lil alami Fi ayatum Bayinatu maqamu Ibrahim Laki ni wadda shine Allah ya suma aji tuba linsa Nagini na abouta ma Allah aji Kuma anak Ibrahim Ali Sallallahu Sallam kakak ni kan anak Muhammad Sallam si dek kakak anak Sallam Ismail susah kita nak nanti. Kuma apa ini waktu ayam mata ayam anak Ibrahim awajan. Hari yang sangat agaknya kapal sah awajan lu kecil. Tu lu kecil dah akan bawa jahiliyah, akan rusak lagi anak suah saji ini nasi. Bila sana kaparai, ama susah halat susah haram. Sesuatu itu ayat Sheila, ayat kuat, atau rukun ini, ayat lunch. Kalau kita ayat lunch itu mana nama? Agenda utama, dah kejar, awak dah kejar. Su, masuk elemen tetelan azki. Su kecuan nak kau dengar ini semua. Kau nak kau benda ayat ini, ayat ini abang dah lihat sedang agenda dah halat, bah sangharam. Bisa sama kita dalam hijrah Ismail dan Zaa Wajib. Ia nak cikin kita dengan Amma Ambash Awajib. So orang lokasi nak kesah hijrah nasi, bagi kita ada kapa. Tu anak cikin ini si agak kau gak orang bagi dosa hajar al aswad. Wanita dosa ini dengan aljan dan hari ini pat zulmi muda ni senyap si bagi dengan aljan lagi. Tu dah kau mai dengan dosa ini dia ini kita si agak sama sama hari sekarang darabawa. Kau macam kabila, tercecah itu dah disemai dengan nama Hindu dan Guru Bangsa. Wan nama tercecah itu sih, wan nama aku sah semua berkiai kiri. Dulu sudah bang, dasar an sama sama ini tu pada lah, kiai kasih kasih lah. Mereka di pisah dengan barang. Anak cik wan yang yang ini sehingga anak Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam yang syukur kawan, yang nasi kara telah tinggal di bawah bawah sya Allah tak. Dan kagani yang nasi jiru masih. Jadi sekarang cari insan. Jangan asyik buat sesuatu jitu aji makamai. Jadi awak dari zaman berapa nama? Jadi dengannya tu, kau macam bila tanya, tak kau maya pada ayat tak? Sabud ang amin terusi. Amin terusi ni amak. Jadi kenapa saya asyik buat? 
sukses kau banyak apa tak kira said uh, ya jauh maya pensa isum pada apa sah kalau kudu sanda hanna sa ya sa akan maya pensa said said su ko wata kabila ta turo matashi daya ko mutun daya ya rike shashin wannan mayafin ko wani kabila ta sa wakili ya rike mayafin sai ya ce musu to kun yadda a daga wannan mayafin akai dai inda za a saba inda suka ce an yadda kowa yadda an suka ce a radi na bika wallahi ai da mun gida da kai ai kai ne abun tace da to da aka fo dai dai inda za a maida wakin dutsa tun da hannu dai ne zai maida sai ya ce musu to kun yadda ne dauka in saka suka ce ai mun yadda ai da mun komai kai ai tun da ma ka ce ko ta kabila ta ta rike shashi mun san zakai adalci adalci ai an kare shi saboda hikima da surun layi ne ba ki ba kin dutse da hannun sa na annabta ya aje daidai inda ka ji dutse yake tun da abu ne daga Allah tabarak wa ta'ala ta ga sai wannan yaki Allah ya kawo karshen ta saboda hikimar annabi Muhammad sana kan musu shahrar rai ne sanan duk makka da kewaye an san shi rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam sai aka yi ta murna cewa yayi sardiyyar mutuwar yaki ka iya halaka mutane da yawa a makka saka shi ba boye ba ne sanan ne ne kowa ya san shi amma abin takaici da amma maki shi ne bayan su suka ce da an kawo musu littafi da an turo musu manzo Allah ya turo musu wadda suke so wadda suka sani sa'ala ta'ala an haice da aka turo shi fa kafaru bihi wannan labirin yana koma ga annabi muhammad wasu kace yana koma ga alqur'ani wasu kace wa yana koma ga musulunci ko wanne ka dauka hasali dai an turo shi ya kira su sun ke yadda dama alqur'anin nasa ne a addinin musulunci shi aka turo da shi fa kafaru fa kafaru bihi sai suka kafirce shi fa sofa ya lamun to da sanda sani dole akwai ganganci cikin wannan kafircin nasu mutumin da kai da bai taba ƙarya ba mutumin da kai da shi mutumin da babu kamar sa duk maka ba amma sai suka kare ta to Allah ta'ala ke ku saurara fa sofa ya alamu da sannu ko za su ga bada ni after what they promised that had they been they got a scripture as the former generations had scripture they would have been among the chosen servants of Allah now Allah the most high sent the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to them along with the scripture that is the Quran so instead of them to believe in in him uh, because even before he was made as messenger of Allah they knew him they knew the personality he was they knew his uh, origin they knew his attitude and his character and they had even given him a nickname al amin that is the trust worthy ones this nickname was given to him as a result of a dispute that took place when they were reconstructing the house of allah meaning the kaaba so even during the jahiliya kaaba was reconstructed however before they embarked on that project they made an announcement or what you call an appeal fund that everyone should bring what he had in order they join hand together and reconstruct the kaaba but they gave condition that everyone must bring from lawful any no money of prostitution no money of alcohol no money of this and this and that therefore they gathered a certain amount of money however that amount was not able to take the whole uh the whole uh, foundation of the kaaba as it was so that's the reason why they left <coughs> makama ibrahim uh, they left hijra ismail uh, outside so they constructed what they were able to do so in the process of uh, what they were doing there was dispute when uh, hajar al-aswad was uh, removed from its position so there was dispute which of the clan will take that honor and prestige to return hajrul aswad from uh, to its former position so there was argument there was a uh, dispute 
and they were about to start fighting. Every prefect uh, clan drew out its um, uh, sword. They will only start fighting, only that Allah the Most High saved them from that. They made a consensus that let them make uh, the Prophet uh, a judge. So as he came, he said they have accepted Al Amin to judge between them. Whatever he decided was binding on each of them. So the Messenger of Allah وسلم, from his wisdom, the wisdom that is, was given to him by Allah the Most High, he spread his, uh, his garment. Then he took the Hajar al-Aswad and put it on top of the garment. Then he asked each of the clan to bring a representative who will hold an edge of that garment. So they accepted, they held, and they raised the, uh, the, the, the Hajar al-Aswad to up to the level it was. Then the Prophet of Allah took it and put it back to where it belongs. So that was the end of the dispute. They all appreciated and they have said they have accepted Al Amin. So they knew the Prophet even before he was made a prophet. And this happened when he was 35 years old. So it would have been very easy for them. If the Prophet was sent, they would just accept him. But if it were any other person apart from the Prophet, they would hardly accept it. But for you to know that they are real dis they were real disbelievers and they were not looking for the truth for bihi when he was sent as a messenger along with the Quran for bihi they disbelieved in him Allah said but they will soon know the consequence of belying the messenger of Allah sallallahu after all they knew the truth that uh, what he came with was really the truth and he why never he was never a liar but still they disbelieve so Allah the Most High says for so they will certainly know they will certainly get the consequence of uh, rejecting the truth uh, of the Prophet as the messenger of Allah <laughs> da annabtan annabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam sun ke yadda da alqur'ani duka yana cikin abin da suka yi ya koshi wannan fa kafaru bi duka a bayan wannan ya tabbata duk da an samu mutane yan tsararu wanda suka bi manzon allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam to yawanci mutanen maka sun yi to allah ta'ala ana yana ce mu wala kan sabaqat kalimatuna li ibadina almursalin lalle kalmomin musirri ga sun gabata ga wato ainihin manya manyan bayan mu wanda yake manzanni ne menene wayannan kalmomin da su gabata innahum innahum lahumul mansurun lalle su wato manzannin mu babu kwanto babu shakka su ne wato aini wa'ad da zamu taimaka su ke samun taimakon Allah tabarak wa ta'ala tun ba yawa tun ga bani shi annabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam annabawa da yawa sun zo sun ke rayi jama'an su jama'an sun ki amma da karshe su annabawan su ke rijayi ba a taba yin wani annabi ba wadda za a ce to an yi nasara akan sa ƙarya ne ko an yadda da shi ko ba a yi da shi ba ko an bi shi ko ba a bi shi ba to shine bai galaba wannan kalima ta Allah ta Allah ta riga ta gabata cewa su annabawa da manzanni su ne masu yin rinjaye ko da annabi shi shi kadai ne to shine bai yin rinjaye wa inna jundana lahumul walibun to ba su kadai ba annabawa duk inda aka samu rundunan Allah jundu sojojin Allah mayaka saboda Allah masu jihadi saboda Allah sun bi Allah sun bi umarni da Allah ya basu sun ne sun ci hali to su za su yi galaba wannan duk ya riga ya gabata shi sa wato hisb na Allah wato kungiya ta Allah ta Allah su ke galaba inna ma waliyukumullah wa rasuluhu wallazina amanu 
الذين يقيمون الصلاة ويؤتون الزكاة وهم راكعون ومن يتولى الله ورسوله والذين آمنوا فإن حزب الله هم الغالبون أكو إن سوره في قلبه سيدي إذا مسحب لي ما أنا تعلاشي وتو لليسو مني ميجي بنت على ما نسو الله نيد ما نزان سدم مني ويدسك سيد سلا سكي بارد ذاك ما سوير وكل شيء نيوم بيعك الله تبارك do what da yake bance Allah da manzon sa to su wa'annan su ne masu galaba su ne masu rinjaye sai aka soma da annabawa da manzanni saboda su nasu daga Allah ne kai tsaye sa'an nan sai Allah ta'ala ya kara da wato ainihin rundunan Allah bayin Allah sojojin sa ko da yau aka samu a kowane kasa wadda suka tsaya ma Allah ta'ala to Allah zai ba su nasara ba maganar cewa ka zai Allah Allah ta'ala ya baka ko a dai dai ko cikin jama'a shi sa ko baka ga galaba ba a bayyane to yana nan yana jira ina nasara ya fi goro kiyama ka tsaya gaban Allah a ce a kai ka aljanna ina hasara ta fi mutum goro kiyama ya tsaya gaban Allah a ce ku zo fa gurlu tun mal tahimu sai wai na malaiku ko wala saurara wa na musumman sanguwa ba ba su da kani ba su da wa ba su da tausayi ba su da yanwa su ba ruwan su da an ce kawai su kawo mutum ya shiga kara ta ba a ce gobe kiyawa mutum ya tsaya gaban Allah a ce a kai shi mutum ya hannu to shi sa Allah ya riga ya tabbatar da wannan kalima cewa manzanni su ne masu rinjaye bayin su masu bin su daga da sojojin su rundunan su su ne masu galaba Allah ya sanya mutum masu galaba insha Allah we are going to stop at this point to continue tomorrow by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mutum ya roki Allah da yaran shi a tahajjud a masallaci eh ai shi sa ake so a goyi larabci ka bi kin sa a ce ana tahajjud din nan ma mai suna karatu da larabci ana tasbihi da larabci in ka wasu jaza sai ka zuba addu'a inka da larabci to idan ya zato ba larabci to ko da wani yare mutum ya fada an yadda duk akwai malaman da suke karahanta ci a salla ai wani yare mana shi to amma ga gaskiyar magana shine idan mutum ya dora goshin sa a ƙasa waje ne na addu'a waje ne na addu'a na fadin bukatu to wani bukatun ba za ka iya in kace za ka yi larabcin sai a munya sai ya kwace kana fama da lawo kana fama da da bukatu kuma ga abin da fito da kyau ba sai da ka yi fada da yaran da Allah ta'ala duk yana jin ko ne yare malaman da sai ga nan cewa kana ai larabci gaskiya dan su suna jin larabci ne a mutumin da baya ji to kuma yana so ya bayani to ya za a yi in ka ce kamo na buga zai yi kuma kun yi ce yana son ka za sai ya fadi wani abin da ba kaga a aure ba kaga fada idan yamuranci ne ka fada da yamuranci idan yarbanci ne ka fada idan da hausa ne idan da kowane irin yare ne ka ga Allah Allah yana ji kowane ansa ko su ce a musu ga ko asallam farilla an taka ba idan zai yi fadi wallahi wallahi Uh, his question is whether it is permissible for one to supplicate in his mother tongue in his language during tahajjud in the mosque uh, the answer is that it is permissible for one to supplicate and ask allah the most high even to say in his language however if he tries to learn arabic that is better for him wallahu a'lam tambaya ta gaba yace tambaya na shine sai in mun yi ma annabi salati Allah da mala'ikunsa za su yi mana salati to ya salatin Allah yake da kuma menene falalan sa akan mu a ba ka sani ba shi Allah ba a tambaya sa ya salati sai ke shi dai fada da kansa yace idan kai wa annabi sallallahu salati da yake ma buwa a manzo sassan ya ya fada wannan hadisi wanda ya inganta man salla alayya maratan wahida sallallahu alayhi wa ashara duk wanda yake salati da to Allah ta'ala zai mai goma in ka wasa a ce a ce sai goma Allah zai ma dadi in ka mai dadi zai ma dubu in ka mai dubu zai ma dubu goma iya iya wanka iya abin da zai maka idan Allah ya ma salati ai shi ke nan kai ka bari a ce kullun Allah ya ma salati yanzu ko 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 lamban wayan president na Najeriya ka sani kuna waya tare ana kada matsala 
sai ga kawai ramadan da wuce wa cikin sauki gidan ka komai tsaftsaf ni super person nan kala kala za a dinga kawo ka saboda kana da alaka da babban gida to a ce kana da alaka da Allah har Allah da kansa yana masa laki ai ba ka da matsala sai ka ba tambayan wani iri ya yana yace a ka roki Allah ya masa laki domin salati addu'a ne da kuma tsarkake mutum idan ka duba a nan salatin da ake sallallahu alaihi wasallam girman ma shine tsarkake shi da kuma yi mai addu'a so saboda haka Allah idan ya maka to gaskiya araga an gaba kuma a daina cewa to yayi salatin Allah ne wannan ba magana mace mai kyau Allah ya samu daji ah the question is about salat to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam why say that allah the most high or promise that uh, if one sent a salat to the prophet sallallahu allah will also do salat uh, to him so how does allah the most high do salat to people yes it has been confirmed that uh, allah does salat to those who do salat to the prophet sallallahu alaihi and the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself said that whosoever send one salat to him uh, for him allah will do 10 in place of that salat so the salat of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you are lucky for allah to do one for you that alhamdulillah you are covered with his mercy that is the mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will cover you if allah does that salat for you so it's not like uh, what you recite allah salli ala muhammad to the end of it raza allah's own salat is for him to be merciful unto you and to give you the best of this world and the hereafter mai tambaya na gaba yake cewa Allah ya ji kan iyayenka da na alramma don Allah menene hukuncin matar da ta ce wa mijinta ni a yanzu ba na sha'awar namiji wani mataki ya kamata ya dauka a shari'ance a'a ai ya danganta akwai lokacin da zai zanto ko namiji ne ya gaji bayi da bukatun sha'awa da ya mace ko ya je ya wahal ayyuka ko ya sha rana ko azmi ta wahal da shi ko ya je office rana a mai kyau ba ko ya tsofa ko kuma tsofa ko ciwo yanzu da ke kwanci a asibiti yana fama da ana samu yaro an ruba ba shi awa ta hari shi to ita ma mace ita ma kamar na mijini wani abu yana iya samu da zanto ba ta ji shi awa a wannan lokacin idan wannan take ni ke idan wannan kake ni ko wannan wani abu ne wanda ke dabi dabi an ce amma idan tana nufin ne ita ba ta sha'awar sa gaba daya na kamar cewa goma ma a ce sun rabu a aure idan wannan yake nufi to wannan ne babban magana shi sai ya duba a ko sabon da yake jawo haka ya gyara dan asasan ta su domin rabuwa ba shi ne ba ba wannan magana yana bukatar babban shari'i dan asan ina ne ka fuskanta da tambayi idan ta kai ga cewa ne tana neman a raba zaman ne gaba da saboda ba ta da wani sha'awa ba ta son ka to gaskiya a sanar da iyaye su shigo cikin lamarin dan a san ga matsalolin ke sai a bada wato sha'awar wani wanda ke dacewa don wanda zai bi diddigin abun shi zai fi sanin me ya kamata a yi amma da zai bada an saka kawai dan ya ji kalmo bibiyu yana iya kuskure ma abin da ake bukata Allah ya samu kace ah his question is what is the position of a wife who tell her husband that she is no more interested or she does she just she has she doesn't have any desire for a man any longer so what is the position of that marriage in sharia so this depends on the situation that lead to that statement if for example it is a sickness or a situation where that made her temporarily uh, lose desire for a for a, for a male counterpart then maybe after that problem she may regain her desire so they will continue their relationship maybe it is old age so also man also reach an age by by he is not interested in in female so if this is the case anyone it is then this should be presented to parents so that they sit down and discuss it but if she mean that maybe due to uh, problem in the matrimonial home she is no more interested in the husband because of the problem or fighting or misunderstanding then this means that they should sit down and uh, iron out the matter so that they will know what next steps should be taken 
if the the relationship is indeed very terrible one maybe the parents can intervene to so that maybe either the marriage be dissolved or they solve the problem they continue uh, their relationship amicably so there is need for one to know the root of the statement what brought about the statement and then that's how the solution can be achieved but for mere question of this nature likely one may say something that is uh, wrong so you are being advised to sit down with her and maybe family level so that you iron out the problem nawarais premium quality nawarais mil suka dauki nauyin kawo muku nawarais premium quality dan danon irin na daban ne ina ma abuta dillanci shinkafa da masu sayan daidai ko sari warai kuna iya samun shinkafar nawarais a nawo complex kusa da next shopping center kado district dake abuja nigeria kuna iya ziyartar ma ofishin mu dake floti mai lamba 870 gidado address way dake edo industrial area and extension fct abuja kazalika kuna iya tintabar mu kai tsaye a lambobin karta kwana 0743 37 da biyar tara tara ko 0991 ko 0981 na warais premium quality shinkafa ta ce shinkafar ku ce garanti gangariya abinci daidai lafiyar jiki na warais mil na maraba da mai siyan daidai ko sari na warais mil suka dauki nauyin kawo muku